Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about the ellipse tool in SOLIDWORKS. So here you can see we have the ellipse, partial ellipse, and they're also counting the parabola and conic in this section. So ellipse, uh, as the name suggests, you know, anytime you want to draw a shape that's like elongated or oval, uh, you can use that. That's a little bit different from slots, where slots typically has uh, like two half circles connected with a line in between. Uh, ellipse, on the other hand, is like a continuous arc. There's no uh, straight lines in it. Okay, so to make an ellipse, you could start off with a center point, and then you're going to have like the major axis and then the minor axis, like so. So this is your ellipse right here. You can see right now you can orient it. So to constrain your ellipse, you need to uh, make sure that you define some orientation. I'm just going to make it horizontal now. And then you could define the major axis to something and then the minor axis. OK, so now you have a fully defined ellipse. As you can see, it's in black. The minus sign here is gone. Okay, so let's take a look at some other sketches for, for the ellipse. So we have the partial ellipse. So again, we could start in the center, and then you could choose how big you want your minor, and then you could see there's a starting and end point. Okay, so just as before, we want to fully define this by constraining the orientation. So we made a horizontal here. And then we need to define the start and end point location. So here, um, we're going to make this start here. And then maybe this one's some angle. So we could use a center line to define that like this. So maybe some angle here. And then you need to define the major and minor axis so that's the major and then the minor. OK, so that's how you would fully define your partial ellipse. OK, so let me suppress that and go down to this next one. Keep clicking spline. Um, so now you have a parabola. So parabola, you have like your main center point, And then you could rotate it like so. So you can see. Now you could draw it, OK? So that's how you could draw a parabola. So again, this has some orientation. You can make this uh, vertical here. And notice I could drag how far. So here, maybe you just want to define the start and end points. That's like another way you could do it. And sometimes, sometimes it's, it'll get the diagonal part. I actually want to delete this. Let me just make this horizontal to do an easy case. And this one I'm also going to make horizontal. And then the last part is the size. OK, so maybe I define some distance here. And then there you go. You have a fully defined parabola. Now for the last case, it's a conic. It's just pretty much like an upside down version. But now you have uh, extra control points. You have one point here and the second point. OK, so that's your conic. And you could define this. You notice we could uh, move this point here. So you want to define that point to be something. And then this point can move in and out. So perhaps you define this distance here. So notice now this point is fixed. This one can still move. Let's just make this one and this point vertical. But this could still go up and down. So we could define uh, some distance apart. 
And you notice at this point can still move, so we could define some distance here. Then now you have a fully defined conic. Okay, so that summarizes the different uh, ellipse sketching tools as well as a parabola and conic. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.